Yo, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here. Welcome back to the channel. The official season of two trailer for Black Ops Cold War and Warzone just came out and we have an insane amount of fresh new content coming to both game modes along with a brand new one called Zombies Outbreak. But today we're going to be discussing a Warzone and everything coming next week. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, first off, we did get a bit of a teaser of the ship Vaudenoy with its sail set to dock on Verdance. Now, Vaudenoy has actually made transmission calls, which players have experienced in game, with this weird staticky effect happening on screen, and a voice can be heard speaking in Russian. But when translated, it says Dispatcher. This is a Russian ship Vaudenoy. We are requesting permission to transport goods to Verdance. Dispatcher, cargo is secured, all systems are in order and we are preparing to leave. So again, Vodanyoy is going to be coming to Verdansk, but we don't actually know what it's going to have on board. Possibly Nova 6. Maybe that's where Stitch is holding Adler hostage. Who knows? Or maybe something even bigger is going on here than that. But now, if you load up Warzone and look towards the ocean area, you can see off in the distance, Vodanyoy is approaching Verdansk, and it's bringing this huge storm cloud with it. So I don't know if that one area is going to have a stormy, wet type environment, or maybe that's going to be spread out across all of Verdansk but yeah a storm is going to be coming to Verdansk really happy to see this but now as for the actual in-game content in addition to the new weapons and operators coming from Black Ops Cold War within season two we're going to be getting a fresh new loot pool inside of Warzone and it's going to have a bunch of new point of interest to explore so finally finally we're getting new map locations on Verdansk it's been a really long time and Vodanyoy is going to be one of those brand new locations now on Call of Duty's blog, the description for these point of interest says, Across for dance, there are numbers of point of interest to either discover or more fully to explore, all advancing Warzone's story while offering new places to scavenge and scrap for survival. Last sighted off the coast of Rebirth Island, recent intel suggests that the cargo tanker Vodanyoy has gone missing at sea. However, recent visuals have identified a vessel matching the description heading towards the port of Verdansk. Operators within the vicinity are recommended to exercise extreme caution as the ship is carrying unknown cargo and its crew are not able to be contacted. Meanwhile, within Verdansk, something major is beginning to rumble deep underground. Although other reports of these new locales are still classified, we advise to explore these areas at your own risk. So yeah, a bunch of new point of interest are going to be coming and I'm definitely very, very curious to see what's going to be, you know, coming. Are they going to be some of the multiplayer maps maybe the fire team maps i have no clue what we're going to be seeing but definitely for sure vitanyo is going to be one of those new playable locations as for whatever is starting to rumble underground it could have something to do with a missile launching because in the season two trailer we did get a glimpse of a missile silo opening up which is actually above the bunker closest to military base literally that statue has been hiding a missile underneath the entire time and it's going to be a brand new location for us to explore underground absolutely crazy stuff i think definitely something is going to be happening with those missiles which players have found for many many months now and i could see this happening very very soon maybe in the form of a live event who knows but lastly as for new ltms coming we have exfiltration and during an exfiltration battle royale a portable radio crackles into life coming online somewhere in verdance the operator who secures this radio and holds onto it for a sufficient period of time automatically wins the game for them or their squad to ensure their exfil isn't by the books anyone holding this radio is marked on the TAC map as if they were the most wanted contract with all operators receiving intel on how much longer the current radio holder has until they win other than this new win condition the same battle royale rules apply expect a circle collapse and a winner to be determined by the last operator or squad standing should nobody receive an 
early exfil with the radio so this new game mode sounds like it's going to be hectic for sure it sounds like towards the end of the game everybody is going to be going after the player with the radio and it does sound like a lot of fun very very crazy stuff and you should see some gameplay of this for me on the channel whenever season two does go live so can't wait for this guys really really excited and then lastly here we have a rebirth island resurgence extreme which is pretty much 90 players on rebirth island it's going to be hectic as well very very close quarters engagements with a lot of craziness a lot of huge battles going on it definitely sounds like a lot of fun for sure and uh, i cannot wait to play these two ltms so that's all the warzone content we're going to be getting i am crossing my fingers hopefully that we're going to be getting a live event coming in season two hopefully it has something to do with those missiles but uh, we're gonna have to wait and see what happens guys again there's so much content coming in season two if you guys want to go watch the full trailer i'm gonna have a link down below along with the full blog and uh, yeah very very exciting stuff guys please tell me your thoughts down below in the comments love you all so so much have a great rest of the day until next time i'll see you guys later